Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Grand Seeker View channel. Here we have Transformers Autobot Skids from the Legacy series. A homage to the original G1 toy and Transformers Season 2 by Hasbro, of course. This is Skids uh, as a deluxe figure. And as you can see here, with his box from the Legacy line. Doesn't have any more plastic covering like that before with the War for Cybertron series. But he does have some plastics when it comes to the hook for displaying. So he also comes with his um, instructions or manual for transforming. And here is his box, as you can see. He's got a hole in it. He's got some artwork on the side with Skid showing his animated face. Um, the robot and the alt mode at the back, of course. It comes in 14 steps with some weapons and how they can be attached together. And of course, the other characters from the Legacy series. Detail-wise, it's very G1 looking. Not entirely accurate as that little chest design because the original G1 at the front of the Honda City Turbo. Whereas this one, it doesn't really seem to be a specific design on the front of an existing car, but it's close enough. His head sculpt is pretty neat, along with his other parts, including his red feet or shoes. He also has doors for wings in his robot mode, like the Dotson Bots or G1 Toy Jazz. He doesn't have much cable in the back, which is nice and neat as well. His rear wheels can be folded or tucked underneath his feet, and that's a nice take on that as well. So he comes with his original accessories, like the liquid nitrogen rifle and twin electron blaster. He doesn't have the rocket pod launcher like that from the G1 or the mini moped from the Masterpiece accessories, which also comes with the Honda City. But he has this crystal blue colored gun as an additional accessory. And as you can see, you can also assemble them together. He also has a peg holds in his back, forearms and feet. If you want to use those weaponizers from the War for Cybertron toys. Looking at his articulation, you can slightly move these doors if you want to move his arms around. He said he's on a ball joint as usual, so it can rotate and look up and down a bit. His arms rotate, moves outwards, some bicep swivel, 90 degree elbow movement. He's even got wrist rotation, um, which is still tight. Um, let me remove this gun for now. So he's got waist rotation, of course. He's got thigh swivel. Knees move all the way to the back. And some ankle movement as well. And as for the weapon, as you can see here, you can assemble them together. So this double blaster can be attached with this rifle. As you can see here. And then the transparent blue can also be attached here. Assemble them together. I don't know for what purpose, but you can do it as well. So he's got nice details. His wheels also rotate, of course, and spins on his shoulder so that he can roll properly. And basically, he's a very good G1 looking figure. Modern take on skids. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. So now we are going to transform him to his alt mode. First we get his arms out of the way. Bring out his torso. Untab it like that. Make sure the head goes into the hood of the car. Make sure that the roof and windshield is aligned with the door. Once you fold it in like this, you can see you have to move that around. And then bring the arms towards the torso so that the wheels is facing on the side of the fenders of the car. Do the other arm as well. And fold the arms inwards into the torso. Make sure that that peg hole is showing underneath the car. As you can see, there's a peg there that holds it together. Peg the arms into the torso like this. See there. And then you push the waist inwards to the back. And then fold the knee the opposite way. And you see as that, make sure you align the roof. 
Make sure everything is aligned. Then you tap the doors the last time in the back part of the car. It's here. And then you bring out these rear wheels from the feet. And there you have your Japanese hatchback or K car. So he rolls perfectly as well. Doesn't really look like um, exact look of the Honda City from the 80s but it's a nice rendition or a modern take for skids it's got that racing line as well on the side of the body so you can see his head there it serves like an engine of the car and it's a pretty neat boxy looking car just as the same with the 80s and you can also attach his weapons on the roof as you can see here they're on the roof like that or you can also put the weapons on the side or the rear fender of the car or on the roof as well like this so basically he's got some weapons in his out mode as well <laughs> And here we have Wheeljack, another deluxe class figure. So you can see, you can see the length difference. Wheeljack's a bit longer, but is um, lower compared to that of um, Skids. Which is why before they think that Skids was a minivan, which he really is not because he's a K car from Japan. So now we remove his weapons and transform him back to his robot mode so we untap the doors once again and it's easier to transform him back to his robot mode so we move the legs or the knees pull them outwards pull out the arms once again As you can see he's already standing up pull out the arms away from the torso bring out the legs that's tucked in on the back. Bring out the waist and tap the legs together. Fold the rear wheels once again. Bring down the front part of the car, which will become the torso of the chair. And then bring out the wheels in front as his shoulders and his arms. So we just pose him or move him around Make sure that he's got the right position. And here we have Skids once again in his robot mode. And then we bring back his weapons, of course. So he's holding his gun once again. And for some size comparison, we have here um, Deluxe Red Alert, Walgreens exclusive. For size comparison, as you can see, they're the same height. Here's a Voyager class grapple for size comparison as well along with this season 2 Autobots so this is Autobot Skids and hopefully you guys enjoyed my video review once again don't forget to like and subscribe until next time